So many new knives come out every year and there are so many reviews that either myself or others do. I like doing a best of 2023. Now I usually do this towards the end of the year, but some of the knives that are in my best of are already out and I want to go ahead and show them to you guys. My name is Brad and welcome back to Screamin' Pirate EDC. Now today we have three knives that I think are all perfect EDC size and are worthy of your time. Two of which the pre-orders are coming. Now, I think one of them, they're going to be doing like a direct drop, like you order and they ship. I don't think they're going to be a pre-order. Typically they're not. And the other one is going to be a pre-order that will then be shipped next year. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and head top down and talk about my three best knives of 2023 so far. All right, we are top down. So, spoiler, these are my best three of 2023. So I reviewed the Quiet Carry 9 earlier this year. And when I say earlier, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was like February. Really do like this. I like the knurled tie. It just feels really good in hand. And it just, I don't know, kind of piratey looking. And I think pieces of nine, but I really like this knife. And it was, oh my gosh, so smooth. So smooth. The action is so good. So good. And staying with this kind of blade size, you know, I just got these two in. This is the Raikou and the Corvus. And they just fit me. For me personally, I love the way these fit in my hands. It just really really nice. I feel like I have a lot of control over the blade, but also I can change my grip and just if I need to be a little more precise, which is the same reason why I really like the nine. If I put my middle finger right here, I have a lot of control over that blade, a lot. And it's just nice and easy and out of pocket. And the Raikou has just done the same thing, except I get a warning. And so it's just really nice to see another warning up here. Now, to show you guys just a quick size comparison, and when I say quick, I mean quick, quick. Something that was one of my knives of the year last year was the Strix from Sparrow Knife Co. So let me go ahead and shove everybody together there. Similar size, okay? Now, the Strix is a little bit bigger than everything else here as far as like the handle, but you are looking at something similar. Now, I said why I like these two. The Corvus, I have had the least amount of time, but it has grown on me so quickly. It is, it feels like an elongated handle, a little bit of the Jaeger, but it's also a mashup between the Taka and the Model 51 from Brian Brown. Those are two customs. I've held both those customs multiple times at multiple shows, love them. And I put this in hand and immediately went, ooh, oh. And then I opened and closed it and went, oh, yeah, I like that. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's nice. Hmm. Yeah, this knife really does a lot. It has a hollow grind. It has a flat grind. You have a Tanto, so you can do a lot of work. And in a large glove, it just fits my hand. I don't really like that's the best way I can put it, guys. And once again, if I want to choke up, Look at all that control I have on the blade. Really nice. And all of them can be dressed up. You can put some, they have carbon fiber. They have standard tie options on all of these. And I also like having options in my EDC. If one of these doesn't vibe with me, okay. Well, I don't like the blue on the Brian Brown. Okay. They, they make an all tie one. I don't like this one. Okay. Well, they make a DLC one. Oh, well, you don't like DLC, and for some reason, you don't like uh, the steel they used here? All right, well, they just came out with this. It's the Drift LC. That's an LC200N, and it has more texture, and it's slightly bigger. I'm, I, there you go. I really can't complain about any of these knives. I personally like the 9 more than I like the Drift LC, but that is obviously personal reference. Now, all of these knives are, I wouldn't say light. That's not really the best word I would use, but they are not heavy here, guys. So let me go ahead. A little bit of a mess here. Let me turn him on and I'll get some quick weight for you guys. 
So the Corvus. Ooh, it is not happy with me, is it, guys? Let me have it zero out. 4.3 on the Raikou, an insanely light 3.14. And on the 9, 3.95. So, I mean, guys, it, everything is under four and a half, which is kind of another preference of mine. So I just like it. And I've been liking carbon fiber more and more. Do I still really like my Carta and not seeing as much of it on some of these production knives? Yes. Does it matter? And do I love the way these tuxedo looks are on these? Yes. <laughs> okay. Love the tuxedo look. Doesn't really matter. and doesn't really make a difference to me. Now, guys, there's not much else to say about the knives. Each one of these is going to have an individual review, and hopefully you guys also like these choices. And if you don't, let me know what your favorite knives are below of 2023. So all three of these knives fall within my perfect EDC size, which is a blade from around 3.25 to just around 3.6. Any bigger, and I feel like it kind of just doesn't fit me well, but I will go ahead and say this. If you don't like all of these, guys, there's a ton of other knives in this category and that fill the similar size. And some of them I've talked about, some I haven't, but there's just a ton out there. But out of these three, if I were to pick one, that's hard, guys. I really like the nine. I really like the Raikou. But for me, it would be the Corvus. Now, the reason why it would be the Corvus is because you get a compound grind, you get a hollow, and you get a flat. Tantos are fantastic for doing a multitude of work, and it just fits. It just fits. And I really like the way it fits in my hand. I feel like Brian makes knives for me at this point almost with how well they fit in my hand, and I like the designs a lot. But yeah, that is so far my favorite knife of 2023. And none of these you can go wrong with. I think that they are all phenomenal knives. If you love a Warney, you can't go wrong with the Raikou. And if you just want a normal drop point, I mean, I say go for the 9. But if the 9 really isn't your jam, you could always go for the Drift LC, which is in a stainless steel. It's an LC200N and a little bit bigger. But for me, the 9 really just fits. Really do like all three of these, but the Corvus is my favorite. Well, if this was informative to you, if you got something out of this, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.